All right, so we're back. We're still working on our cinematic sequence. The next problem that I'd like to address is the fact that our robot is still visible when we launch the level. We need to be able to hide him away when the level starts, bring him back during the course of our animation. Then we're going to destroy him at the end of the animation and spawn in an AI bot. Now, before we handle any of this, there's something really important I want to point out to you. In between videos, I rebuilt the lighting and something happened. So what I'm going to do is show you what happened so that you'll be aware of it if you ever see it on your end. Take a look at the light. Well, don't worry about the fact the material's on. That's something that I plan on dealing with later. But actually, watch this real quick. Notice the light bulb effect didn't work. If you missed it, here's a, here you go one more time. No light bulb. All I did was rebuild lighting, and it killed my light. If this happens to you, it's only because we didn't throw a single checkbox earlier. And in a way, I'm glad that it worked out this way because it allows me to make a special point about the checkbox. If we double-click on our light, expand light, expand light component, and then expand light component again, there is a force dynamic light checkbox. Make sure that that is checked. Now, this will require that we rebuild lighting once again, which I'm not actually going to do at this point. We'll deal with our uh, robot problems first, and then in between our videos, I'll rebuild lighting one more time. But once you check that, your light will start working once again. Okay, so back over here to the robot. Currently, if we launch the level, we can see the robot, and obviously that's a problem. So what I'm going to do is just select the robot, solving this one's easy. We'll just expand the display group under its properties, check hidden. Also make sure you do the same thing for his link gun, because if you forget that, he'll just be a floating link gun. All right, so now he's hidden. Now the next thing we need to do is show him so that he can be seen during animation. So let's open up Kismet. And let's go ahead and double click on matinee. And I'll close Kismet out of the background. What I want you to do is come over here to your group track list. And on the left-hand side, you have a little scroll bar. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, select my enemy robot group, right-click on it, and we're going to add a new event track. An event track allows you to create outputs on your matinee sequence that are going to fire at some point along your matinee's timeline. So for instance, Currently, my time slider is at zero. With the event track selected, I'm going to press enter, and it asks for an event name. Let's call this show robot. All right, so now we have a keyframe named show robot, but check this out. If we open up Kismet once again, we now have an output named show robot. This output will send out a signal to whatever nodes are connected to it the moment the animation starts, or whatever the timing of that keyframe happens to be. If we moved it halfway along the timeline, it would take place halfway through the animation. So now let's close out of Kismet for a moment. We're going to add one more just to the end of our animation. So press enter, and we'll call this one Destroy Spawn. Actually, well... All right, well, yeah, destroy spawn, because we're actually trying to do several things at once. You can name it anything you want. You can name it popcorn and baseball if you wanted to. All right, so now with those two, if we take a look, again, back in Kismet, we now have outputs for each one. Now all we need to do is connect in the appropriate Kismet nodes to deal with the showing of the robot, then destroying the robot, and then at the same time, we're going to spawn in an AI bot that will come in and fight the player. So let's start off with just showing the robot. Currently it's set to hidden. So if we close this out and we play our level, there is no robot. That's what we fixed when we just set our hidden checkbox. However, now we need him to show when we play back the animation. So I'm going to jump back into Kismet. I'm going to right click right here next to my matinee, choose new action. Let's come down to toggle and I'll grab a toggle hidden. Let's move this over. We're going to take show robot and connect that to unhide. Now we have to give this a target, and fortunately for us, we can just take the target and plug it into the skeletal mesh actor which is already plugged into the enemy robot track. That's pretty easy. However, if we give this a quick test, there's a couple of things. 
So if we take a look, obviously there was no robot back there. Now, there's our light, which is working. Unit in position. And now the robot's showing, which is good. Now, however, when we run back through, he's still here, which is kind of a problem. But also, check it out. He's not holding his gun. Now, you might not have noticed that when we actually did the animation, so just watch it one more time and look for his gun when we play back. Unit in position. No gun. So we need to make sure that gun shows visible as well. So back over here in Kismet, I'm actually going to take Kismet and kind of slide it out of the way. We're going to select the gun that the robot is holding, and then back over inside of Kismet, I'm going to right-click on my target input and choose New Object Var using Skeletal Mesh Actor 3. Now we are unhiding both of those objects. Fantastic. That was easy. So if we were to test that out, he would now be holding his gun, but at the end of the animation, we need to destroy him. So I'm going to right-click, choose New Action. Let's come over to Actor, and there is a Destroy Kismet sequence, which will just simply connect Destroy Spawn to the input of that, and now we have to give this targets as well. So we're going to connect this to Skeletal Mesh Actor 2 and Skeletal Mesh Actor 3. Now this I really will test out, so let's jump into the level, run back to the back, use our switch, light's working, Unit in position. he's holding his gun, now if we come around the corner, he's gone, where did he go? He's been destroyed, which is great. That's exactly what we need. Now, at this point, it's time for us to spawn our AI bot. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to right-click, come to New Action, come to Actor, and we're going to bring in a new Actor Factory. Now, this is a great big node that can do a lot of different things. It can spawn any kind of actor you want it to. What we're going to do is take Destroy Spawn and plug this into Spawn Actor. Now, it needs a couple of things plugged into it. We need a new spawn point, and we're going to need to keep track of the object that we spawn, but I'll talk about that just a little bit later. For now, let's just focus on where this guy's going to be spawned, which is our spawn point. I'm going to close out Kismet for just a moment, and it's really close to the player start, so we could just use that. If you wanted to, you could create a new actor here in the middle of the level just to spawn him out, but for simplicity's sake, we'll just use the player start. So with that selected... I'll come out to Kismet again, right-click on the spawn point input, and choose Create New Object Var using Player Start 2. Now, what are we going to spawn? This is where we have to set up the properties for our actor factory. So we'll select this. Take a look at your factory property. Currently, it has nothing in it. We need to add a new object. So I'm going to go all the way to the end of the property on the right-hand side. You'll see a little blue triangle labeled Create a New Object. Click on that, and we're going to grab a UT Actor Factory AI. Now this has got several different properties inside of it. First off is the controller class. Go ahead and leave this set to UT Bot. That'll give you that uh, UT Bot AI which is going to try to kill you. Make sure you check Force Deathmatch AI. Give default inventory, you can go ahead and do if you want. We'll just go ahead and leave it alone right now. Uh, the Pawn class needs to be set. So we're going to grab that and make sure we select UT Pawn. Now, if we wanted to give him anything special in his inventory, like a special weapon, we have an inventory list, and you can click Add New Item, and then you get Index 0 the first time you click on it. I'm just going to set this to UT Web Link Gun. So he's got a link gun. All right, so now let's close this out, and let's try out our level. Let's just see what that got for us. Lights working. Unit in position. And I heard him spawn, actually. Oh, he's shooting at us. Once he's seen us, he's smart enough to come get us. First blood. Yeah, and then we get the announcer telling us that we got first blood, which is great and all. We can roll down the mouse wheel and grab the physics gun and throw his body around in victory. Okay, so now we've got our bot spawning. Now I'm going to stop everything right here, because really that's, that's a pretty good chunk of everything we need to have happen. So let's go ahead and save at this point, and then we'll move forward from here.